Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 8th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Rogan Thermo Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Um, this is a very unusual puzzle and somewhat surprising that it is gas, but Bill has very carefully constructed this so that it is genuinely approachable. Um, you just need to make sure that you understand how the rules work. Um, so this is a thermo sudoku. Um, so first of all, normal sudoku rules, one and nine each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some thermos in the grid. Normally, if we have a thermo in the grid, it would mean the digits increase from the bulb to the tip. So this could go something like four, six, eight. However, in this puzzle, all of the thermos have to be wrong. They all have to be broken in some way. And we'll see what that means as we solve the puzzle. Um, but we could not have 468 in this case because that would be a valid thermo. We can't have any valid thermos in this puzzle. So those are the rules. And we're going to start here. This is 2, 3, and then something. If this digit were bigger than 3, this would be a valid thermo. So we can't have that because all the thermos are broken. So the only digit that can go there is something that is less than three. And the only digit we have for that is one. And the same is true down here. This is the same thermo. Here, we have something seven, eight. If this were less than seven, this would be a valid thermo. So it must be greater than seven. The only digit we can have is nine. And this is also nine. All right, here, um, we have a one here. We either need to repeat one. So if we put a one there, this is broken. Or this needs to be smaller than this. Um, there are a lot of possibilities for that right now. So, um, and actually, where does one go in this box? It has to go on this thermo. So this will be broken because there's a one here somewhere. All right, these digits um, can't be three, so this is actually one three in some order. And this is broken either way, those go. The remaining digits are five and six, but if this were four, five, six, that would be a valid thermo. So this must be four, six, five. Okay, up here, uh, where does four go in this box? So it has to go here. Seven and eight can't go there, so this is seven, eight, and we know the order actually from these. Now, here we have something 4, 7. So this has to be another 4, but it can't be. Or it has to be greater than 4. If this were a 1, 1, 4, 7 is a valid thermo. So this is greater than 4, but it's not 7, 8, 9, or 5. It must be 6. Down here, we can't put 8 in those cells. So this is an 8. And then these are 7 and 9 in some order. This could be 7, 9 as long as this is bigger than 7, and it could be. It could be a 9. All right, up here we have 5 and 6, and they have to go in this order, both because of the thermo and because there's a 6 here. These are 1, 3, and we can't do 1, 3, 4. That would be a valid thermo, so this must be 3, 1, 4, and that's going to resolve this thermo, 1, 3, 1. These can't be 7 or 8. So this must be a 7, 8 pair. Again, we can't go 7, 8, 9. So this must be 8, 7, 9. And these are 5 and 6. So again, we have 4, 6, 5. These can't be 7, 8. So this can't go 4, 7, 8. And also we have an 8 in the row. And this, again, must be 4, 6, 5. We've got lots of 4, 6, 5 thermos. Okay. These are 2, 3, and 4. We have a 4 there. So these are two and three. We can't have two, three, seven. That would be a valid thermo. So this is three and two. These are one and two. We know the order from that two. These are three, five, nine. That's the three from the five and nine there. Okay, what about up here? We need a one in this box and there's a one there. So these are two and three. 
Again, we can't go 239, so this is 329. These are 2, 6, and 9, and we have a 9 and a 2. These are 5, 7, 8. We have 5 and 7 there. All right, these digits are 2, 6, 9, and that's the 2. And I still don't think this is a resolved yet. This could be a 6 with 9, 7 in that order, or it could be a 9. These are 1 and 8. That is resolved by this 1 down here. These are 3 and 5. Uh, one in this box can't go in these cells, so it must go here. Three can't go in these cells. And then this is six and four, and that six is going to resolve. Nine, six, nine, five, five, three. Now this can be either order now. The nine in the bulb is definitely going to make that broken. This column still needs a six, so it's got to go there. This is 2 or 9, but we have a 2 there, and that's going to resolve our 7, 9 here. It's going to resolve our 9 and 2 here. These are 2 and 7. It's resolved by that 2. That resolves 7 and 5, and to finish off 5 and 8, and that's the solution. So that's a confusing puzzle if you're not used to thinking about things being broken. Um, but this is, this is actually kind of a popular subgenre of Sudoku variants, um, the, the Roggen puzzles, where all the clues in the grid are incorrect. And you, the, the logic is just as powerful in a lot of cases. You just have to think about everything backwards, um, and that can be confusing. But hopefully you um, enjoyed that, and let us know how you did in the comments. I will see you next time.